Had quite a bit of penalties t uh, today. As opposed to uh, most of the other games I've done were um, penalty free. This one, a lot of hankies. Time and going, no huddle. End in motion from the left to the right. Pitch out to the right side. And a he fumble. Lost the ball. And Cardinal O'Hara will recover at their own 39-yard line. Looked like the ball was jarred from behind. I want to say that was Radomski in there, Tony. I don't know if he made the play or not, but he was close to the runner. And that ball really came out. It looked like it was punched out from behind. Scarver had the carry on the right side. He was headed up the sideline then. Pop, defender popped it out. It was either Radomski or Samarian three. Both were in the area. Either way, it's O'Hara football with a 14-12 lead, 8-0-1 on the scoreboard. Third quarter action. A second turnover of the game. Both went O'Hara's way. Yep. One interception, one fumble. So now here come the Hawks. They'll have it. They'll have it spotted on the 40. First down and 10. Masters under center. Hand off to Littleton. Up the middle. And he is swarmed by time and defenders. One yard gain for Littleton. Second down and long. Seven forty-two remaining. In the third quarter, Masters bringing the play in from the sidelines. Manjohn bringing the team out of huddle. Over the ball. Full house backfield. Masters under center. Hand off to Hughley on the right side. And he is met immediately by a host of Tigers. Looked like is led there by number 58 for Bishop Time and uh, Richie Hibbs. Jameson also in on the stop for the Tigers. Third down and long. Masters bringing in the play from the sidelines. It's like Time has uh, done a better job of shutting down that run on the right side. Time and defenders able to sniff that out quickly. So where there was running room is no longer. Three receivers set now for O'Hara. One back in the backfield. Masters in the shotgun. End in motion. Hand off to Hughley on the jet sweep. Bring it up to the right side. And it'll be forced out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. Where it'll be fourth down for the Hawks. Tony, they're probably going to kick here and continue playing that field position, and that's because the O'Hare defense is starting to play much better. Or I should say they've been playing pretty well for most of the afternoon. Only gave up really, only gave up a couple of really big plays. They've kept Timon in check, Timon's offense in check, and they've created two turnovers. They were able to cash in on that first turnover earlier in the first quarter. This time, they're looking at fourth and five. Maybe they try a hard count here and try to draw Bishop Timon off sides. They've been able to do it before. No reason they can't try that again here, and I believe that's what they're going to be doing, trying to do. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Shotgun, Masters, and a flag. He was going to kick that one. And that's on O'Hara, though, so they'll back him up a little bit, and now you will get the punt formation out there for the Hawks. Polarski will be back to receive the kick. We'll mark off the five yards. Five yard penalty on the Hawks, it's fourth down. A lot of five yard penalties. <laughs> they add up, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Masters bring the play in from the sidelines. Penalty Scarver back deep. Scarver to return for, set to return for Timon. Masters to do the punting, but they line up in offensive formation. Snap, back to pass, 
Throwing deep down the right side. He's got a man incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Wow. Pass intended there for, uh, for Zacker. Zacker. And no good. Time is going to have excellent field position here, Tony. I'm surprised they went for it. So, yeah, that's a surprising call because now you're going to give time and the ball at your 40. You're only up by two points. A lot of time left to go in this game. Your defense has been playing very well. That's going to be head, that's a head scratcher for me, Tony. Now Jennings, they're going to do a uh, trickeration here. Jennings was in shotgun. He moved out of the backfield, throws it down to the sidelines, caught at the goal line. Polarski's down. But the ball the came one. out. They're going to say he was down. Gonna, he was down like close to the goal that. line. Well, so Jennings lined up in the shotgun. Then moved out. It was then a pistol to the running back who pitched it to Jennings. Then he threw it down the left side for a big completion. Now time in first and goal. And that's the trouble sometimes on those fourth down situations. When you hold the team, you get that momentum from There's the defense. There's some flag there, a flag on the play. I don't know if that's going to go against O'Hara or time, and we're waiting for the the call from the, is it, the it is on time, and so that's going to back them up, thankfully, for O'Hara. But, again, Tony, momentum plays a huge factor in these football games, and O'Hara not going or not punting on fourth down, uh, that's – That could hurt that him. could come back and haunt him. It looks like it's going to. I mean, here's timing with excellent field position. First play from scrimmage. They get it all the way down to the goal line. Five and a five-yard penalty. What Timon tried to do is run no huddle, hurry up, and uh, I don't think everybody was set. Jennings tried to take a quick quarterback keeper up the middle. He was in, but they're going to mark it uh, against Timon. So bring him back five-yard line to the seven. Jennings in the shotgun. One back in the backfield. Two receivers to the right. Jennings looking to the right. Throws over the head of the intended receiver. Incomplete. It was, they tried to go to uh, Kyle Hoare on that play. No good. Hoare's a big receiver. He's got pretty good hands, as we've seen already earlier in this game. He does have one of the touchdowns for timing, but this is the part of the field when you got to give that ball to 25. Damaris Petaway Scarver has had his way for the most part for this O'Hara. Uh, front seven, I would just be pounding that rock up the middle with number 25 here. But again, Tony, that's why I'm in the booth and not on the sideline calling plays. Jennings, shotgun, and in motion to the right. Hand off to Scarver on the right side, churning the legs. I don't think he got enough. He'll be shy of the touchdown of the goal line. About the two, I think. So he gets them back to where they started. Third and two now. We'll have to see if Timon dials up that same play. No huddle. Jennings in the shotgun. Scarver the lone back. And in motion to the right. Fakes it. He's going to keep it himself. It looked like that was a busted play. Let's we'll see if Jennings can make something out of it. And he does. Crosses the goal line for the touchdown. Jennings bulled his way into the end zone. And for the second time today, Timon has the lead. 18-14 your score now. Jennings, yeah, there was a busted play, no doubt about it. It looks like he, the, it was a play where they do that pitch out to Scungio. They've tried that a couple of times today already. They did that once on a two-point conversion that went for nothing. This time Jennings... Uh, Gets the job done with his feet. In and out of the hands of no good. Polarski. No good. That ball was a little bit behind him. So now it's a four point game. We had a two point game. We've had a tie score. Now we got a four point game. Timon, Bishop Timon Tigers have the lead 18 14 over O'Hara with 350 to go in quarter three. Certainly making it interesting. Absolutely. Now we'll see how Cardinal O'Hara responds. Again, time and now taking away what was working for O'Hara. Yeah, that again O'Hara, they're the best thing that they can continue doing here is running that football. They've got the guys to do it between Littleton and Hoogley. Keep pounding the rock. 
taking time off the clock. And if they, but they have to sustain some of these longer drives, Tony. That's something they haven't been able to do today. On the two touchdowns they had, they had short fields to work with, didn't have far to go, and that's evident by the difference in yardage between these two teams today. Timon has three times as many offensive yards as O'Hara. But the score, 18-14. This is as close as game as you've called all season for us so far. Yeah. Hey, we talk about that last night. Uh, I was talking, uh, chatting with Marquel Slaughter, and uh, you saw Markel last night. We well, were chatting on Facebook right. uh, because I ran into Coach Graham, and Marquel wanted me to pass along a, a, a hello to his uh, former coach. And he asked me because he's covering Section Five in Rochester. He asked uh, how the games are. They close. I said, you know what? Now you mentioned it. No, they haven't been. Most games have been blowouts. Another uh, kick squibbed into the end zone and out, so there'd be a touch touchback for O'Hara. I said basically most of the games that we've done have been blowouts, and he's seeing the same thing uh, in Rochester. Tony, I was wondering, do you think the coaches around Western New York are using this as more of like a spring football season as opposed to the actual real season that they normally play in the fall? There's no state championships on the line. Winning a section title... After a lot, all these teams going on pause, I don't think week. I don't think you coach it any differently. I, I think you do the same things because it's all about preparing your players, uh, execution of plays, execution of technique. So you're still teaching. The biggest problem is is the fact that they haven't been able to spend enough time practicing. You can't conduct a football uh, practice on Zoom meetings alone. You have to get on the football field. Your muscles have to get used to it. You have to be used to the contact. That's one of the reasons why we've seen so many injuries. Uh, we've seen cramping. Uh, you know, they're not, their bodies aren't used to playing football at this time of the year. you got many things that are factoring into it. Second and ten. Second and ten for O'Hara. That's a good point. The craziest thing though, Tony, is in, in Ken Stoll and Pete Schneider and these guys, Coach Jerry Smith the St. Francis, who put the schedules together for respective leagues. I don't think they sleep, by the way. They don't, and, you know, I know they don't have much hair left. Uh, some of them didn't have a lot of hair to begin with, mm -hmm. and I can say that because I don't have much hair. But, you know, Kenny Stolt, he's probably pulling out whatever left he had. That poor guy. Hughley with the carry on the left side, and he's going to be brought down for a loss. Bishop Timon doing a great job. In uh, closing the gap on that. Very good pursuit. Tigers getting right to the ball. Alex Hill, the junior, makes a big play for the Time and Tigers long. defense. 240 remaining in the third quarter. So that right side has really been shut down. And it was it was the only thing that was really working for O'Hara. So Coach Dudley's gonna have to find something new now. I don't know, maybe move Big Dave to the other side and Try running left. Well, they've had third and long a couple of times today, Tony, and they've pulled through. So Looks like now they're going four wide receivers set on this third and long. Shotgun, back to pass, throwing a screen over the middle. It's caught. 25, brought down to the 30. It's going to be close to a Cardinal O'Hara first down. Matt Samuel, the senior, he made a play earlier in the game. Haven't seen much of him since. I saw him in that opening game against Timon earlier. He was involved quite a bit in that offense on that particular Touchdown afternoon. Locks. And now he's starting to get back into this game. We haven't seen him much, but that was a huge first down for the O'Hara Hawks on third and 15. They're still not moving the chains, though. The chain crew still has it at fourth and short. Well, after... Not punting the last time. Got to believe they, they're they looking at that situation. They have first and 10 on the scoreboard. And the ball marked at the 30. The chain crew's got it fourth and one. Chain's not moving. No, so. they're. All right, now he's giving the order to, uh, to move. Okay. So a fresh set of downs for this Hawks offense. You're starting to see some new players come into the fold. As Hoogley's now lined up in the slot receiver position, so is Samarian three. Four receivers, Hughley in motion. Jet sweep to the left side to Hughley. He has room, cuts the sides up the sideline, crossing the 50-yard line, 
And that's where they will mark him out of bounds. First down for Cardinal O'Hara. There was a nice block by Samuel on that play to free up some room for Hughley, but a big time block by Samuel as Hughley's able to get out to the outside and pick up another Hawks first down. They're now at midfield, and this is one of those long drives that the Hawks have needed today. Take some time off the clock. We're inside a minute of the third quarter now. First and 10, Hawks, ball spotted on the 50, 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Four receivers. Hughley in motion to the left. Hand off to Littleton. It's Not Samuel. Littleton, I mean uh, Samuel. Samuel with the carry. Hey, you got uh, a yard on the play? So a key play on this drive so far ends up that third and 15 with Masters with a nice completion on the screen over the middle. That's a nice Samuel. play. That's a nice play. I imagine we're going to see that one again. We'll see if this is the last play of the third quarter. Keep that time and offense off the field is key. Man Jones set the snap to Masters, back to pass. It's going to be a screen to the left side. No good and a late flag. We may have a rough in the passer uh, on this one. I think that's exactly the call you're going to see it is. So a nice break there for O'Hara. Masters didn't have any receivers open. He was more or less throwing that out of bounds. Recognized that Timon had them covered up pretty good downfield. So he threw that out of bounds and in the process was hit by two Tigers. Right. So O'Hara, they're moving that ball, and this is a nice long drive for them, Tony, at the right time of the game, heading here into the fourth quarter shortly. They trail by four. They're working new players into that offense, and Timon's defense stays on the field. So it'll give them one more play the third quarter, and then they'll switch sides, and we'll start the fourth. Ball spotted on the 33-yard line of Timon. Masters in the shotgun. Hughley in motion to the left. Jet sweep to the left to Hughley. Not much there, Frank. Maybe a yard. Oh, and he didn't necessarily follow his block there either. Hughley, Samuel, it was a play they ran just a moment or two ago. And they picked up a nice chunk of, char chunk of yardage. But this time, Hughley does not follow his lead blocker and barely gets to the line of scrimmage. Let's take a break as we end the third quarter, getting ready to start the fourth. Western New York Athletics presents high school football. I love being home. There's nothing better than owning the perfect house to come home to. You've earned it, and we'll make it happen. Our local real estate experts and in-house team of financial professionals make buying or selling your home simple. Howard Hanna. Home happens here. I love being home. 300 Level Media is a locally owned and operating right here in Western New York. You'll find us everywhere covering the Bills, Sabres, Buttes, Bisons, Big Four Basketball, local college sports, and much more. Our staff offers a variety of media services, from video production, live event coverage, audio broadcasts, professional voiceovers, camera operation, and videography. Visit www.300levelmedia.com or give us a call at 716-427-2600. This is 300 Level Media. Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G &G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes. All and we're back. Starting the fourth quarter, Colonel O'Hara comes out throwing. Look like pass complete. A market real close to the first down marker. Zacker with the reception, and he is enough for a Cardinal O'Hara 
first down. So Masters with a couple of good completions on this drive as the Hawks moving. They'll spot the ball at the 33, I think. 23. First and 10, Hawks. Masters under center, full house backfield. Handoff to the tailback. Not much there for Littleton. Might have picked up four and a yep. half there. This drive started back at the O'Hara 20 with four, I believe four Game minutes left in the, the uh, third down. quarter. So they've really bitten off on some tough minutes here. I'm thinking nice back drive. to the old NFL films with Hank Stram. Matriculating down the field, guys. We're matriculating. One of the funniest clips of past Super Bowls. Masters under center. Hand off to Hughley. He's met immediately at the line of scrimmage. Time and finally with a nice defensive play there. And I think that's the first time they uh, took O'Hara down behind the line of scrimmage since this drive started. Definitely a battle going on in the trenches between these two. Two big 75s? Yeah, they are. The big hungries. I think I'd be uh, lumped into that category. <laughs> Third down and five. Ball spotted on the 18-yard line. Full house backfield for the Hawks. Masters under center. Fakes the handoff. Back to pass. Masters thrown to the end zone. Incomplete, and we are going to get a pass interference call. Defender had his arms up in the air, but the problem was he never turned his head back to the ball, and uh, that'll draw a flag every time. The intended receiver was Zacher, who had a nice catch a few plays ago, and O'Hara is going to have pretty good field position here. Now, mind you, in high school, they don't mark it off spot of the foul. It's just 15 yards. 15 yards, first down nonetheless. And O'Hara is looking to capitalize on a nice drive here. They should be rewarded. They've done almost everything right here on this particular drive. So far, they've gone 70 yards, I believe, so far. First and goal. Very competitive game here at St. Joe's between O'Hara and Tymon. Masters under center. Untouched. Untouched into the end zone for Littleton. Quick hitter up the middle. There is a flag on the field, though, Tony. And that's in the backfield. And it's that's coming against O'Hara. May have been movement. I have to wait and see for the, what the official call was. There is a player down on the field for time. And so why don't we take a timeout here? Yeah, we'll take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll uh, t find out who the injured player was and you're listening and watching WNY Athletics Presents High School Football. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to HowardHanna.com, ranked the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit HowardHanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast. I love being home. And we're back. Yeah, one the time two players for time and were injured on that play. One was cramping and the other looked like he was uh may have sprained his left ankle as he hobbled off the field. So first down and 15 after the penalty. Appreciate y'all watching on WNYAthletics.com, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or the website. Only have two bars here at the, uh, at the in the uh, press box for our for our Wi-Fi, so that's why you're seeing some buffering, some intermittent. We do apologize. Not much else we can do, but uh, appreciate you tagging along with that's us that this morning. That's that high-fangled technical stuff that you all got going on. <laughs> Doing the best we can. Doing the best we can. Glad you're watching at home. Second and goal. Or not. <laughs> or not. You said two bars. I'm looking. Where's the bartender? <laughs> well, we've done, we've done so good on some of these broadcasts, and now it's like 
you wish you could maintain that, but it's tough. It's very tough because sure. you're working with the elements you have no control over sometimes. Hand off to Littleton up the middle. Still on Still his feet. Still on his feet. Touchdown, O'Hara. The referee was slow to signal, but wow, what an effort by Littleton just carrying time and defenders on his back into the end zone. We've talked about that a number of times today. The motor this kid has, low to the ground runner. And he just follows the blockers, Tony. Follows his blockers, and eventually he finds his way to the promised land. And O'Hara now with a 20 to 18 lead. They've got the lead again. This has been like a heavyweight fight, Tony. Oh, absolutely. Back and forth. Very entertaining game. Masters bring the play in from the sidelines. Try for the two-point conversion. And flags. I don't believe it. Delay a game. A delay a game on a two-point conversion. You don't see that too often. So Masters bringing the play in from the sidelines. They'll try this one again after the referee marks it back five yards. Cardinal O'Hara looking to add to their lead. The time part of the game where the two-point conversions are really important. Masters in the shotgun, back to pass, thrown to his left, almost intercepted. And that will stop the two-point attempt. So Cardinal O'Hara, 20. Bishop time in 18, 8.52. Remaining in the game, we are in the fourth quarter. He was looking for Zacher on that particular play, Tony. And a nice play by Clarence Prude to step in front of that to knock that down and break it up. So O'Hara has a 20 to 18 lead for, I this is their third lead of the game, Tony? And again, like we said, this has been back and forth. It's an old school Monsignor Martin heavyweight tilt. Kudos to these coaching staffs for getting these teams up for this game. A 10 a.m. start, it's very rare you see a game this early in the morning, especially at the varsity level, almost never see it. You're playing at a neutral site, basically. I was talking with, uh, I had a conversation with referee Kevin Ryan uh, during the halftime and uh, exchanging notes of the games that he's, he's seen and the coaches that he's talked to. And it all comes down to that they have not had enough time to practice. It's very difficult. No practice. You may have been doing Zoom meetings or players are, you know, they'll record themselves doing a workout in the driveway or, or basement <laughs> and send it in to the coach. Here, coach, I, you know put my work in, and uh, it, it's just, it's very difficult. How about this? You could be you could be getting ready for, like if, in Timon's case, you could be getting ready to play like St. Joe's or something all week. All of a sudden at the 11th hour, they pull that game from you and say, nope, you're going to go down to Randolph and play them instead. It's like every it's time crazy. I get a, a notification of an email and, you know, I cringe because I'm like, okay, what game has <laughs> been canceled, moved, postponed? Deep kick off there for O'Hare. Bounces off the chest. We've got a loose ball. Still it's on the still ground. loose. Cardinal O'Hara has recovered. That ball was bouncing all over the place. Finally, Hughley was able to recover for the Hawks. A huge special teams play for O'Hara. For, for Excuse you know, me, my first time talking. Tony, it's one of those things where O'Hara has, has been beating up this football program for the past couple years. They had a lot of success years ago. I mean, they went to St. Francis. They went down to the wire with the Red Raiders. And uh, and this was a team that was competing with the best of them in Monsignor Martin. And then they had that drop-off. They lost a lot of seniors, a lot of talent. Again, they hardly could field the team last year. And look at them right now. They're, they got in a, one year, they didn't lead. field the team. Yeah, they're playing much better football. They got this program going again. They got a lot to celebrate, a lot to be happy about today. Of course, we still got a good eight and a half minutes left to play, but O'Hara is in front, 20 to 18. I cannot tell you the last time O'Hara won a football game. We yeah, it's been a while. It's been a couple seasons. They struggled last week against St. Mary's, but then against St. Mary's looks really strong with their running game. I'm, mm. Wow. And we'll see. That we'll uh, be calling that game at two o'clock against Salamanca. 
I can recall back to 1980, Cardinal O'Hara was a juggernaut, uh, the Dane Hightower era, and uh, my Burgard fumble, and this time timing looks like they capitalized. So that's the first miscue of the afternoon for O'Hara. It's Timon who's coughed the football up three times today. And did O'Hara recover? Yeah, they must have. Okay, big number 50 got down there in the trenches and picked it up. That's Connor Hall, another freshman, another young football player. But look at this kid, 6'3", 170. Well, Masters fumbled the snap. But it looked like time it had pounced on it, but must have been some fighting underneath, and the Hawks were able to uh, escape disaster. O'Hara definitely took the momentum back. We thought they lost it after not going for it on four, or after they went for it on fourth down, and Timon went down and scored right away. Jets sweep to Hughley on the right side. He cuts it back towards the middle, plows forward to the 30-yard line. Now it'll be a nice fourth and manageable here, Tony, but it's all about how you respond. And O'Hara's responded well today. They've come back, they've gotten punched in the mouth and they got right back up on the horse and came down and they've been battling. They haven't quit. This team has been going tooth and nail with Timon. And, and it's now gonna be fourth and three. Ball spotted on the 30. You uh, Masters bring the play in from the sidelines. We'll see what. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a hard count here. Try and drop, drop sure. them off sides. Shotgun. Hughley in motion to the right. Fakes the handoff to him. Handoff. The right side. Not much there. So Cardinal O'Hare will turn it over on downs at the 30 yard line. Tigers taking over. So Samuel, I don't think he ran the right route there. The coaches are giving it to him right now. Looks like that's not where they wanted him to go. Either way, Timon's going to have a first down here with just over seven minutes to go. It's their ball at the 30, so they've got 70 yards to go here, Tony. But again, they're a quick st strike offense. They don't need much time. Handoff up the left side by uh, Scarver. Timon's turned the ball over three times today, and right now that's the difference in this football sure. game as O'Hara's got that 20-18 to 18 lead. They're nursing a two-point lead. 6.43 remaining. Ball spotted on the 39-yard line, second down. Jennings, shotgun. Handoff to Scarver. The left side, breaking tackles. He has a time in first down, and then some. Look about the 45, 46-yard line. We'll see where they mark it. Martin Ola almost had him wrapped up, Tony, at about the line of scrimmage. And it slowed him up enough so that a couple more O'Hara guys can get to the football. And they were finally able to bring him down, the time and runner, Petaway Scarver. Again, he's only a freshman. That's hard to believe. He runs like a, a senior. Shotgun for Jennings, back to pass. No handoff. And the Hawks do a good job of uh, bringing it down. It looked like Littleton and on the tackle. Tripped him up right by the ankles as he got to the line of scrimmage. Jaden Chennings in the shotgun. Full house backfield, back to pass. Looking to his right. Wow. Caught he completed play. that, Tony. Juggled it. I, I thought he's, he's dropped it, and uh, he was able to hand, uh, hold on to it. And that was a big, big catch for, for number down. 10, Kyle Hoare, because there were three Hawks standing around him looking for that football because it did hit him in the hands and kind of juggled it there, but he was able to haul it in. So excellent concentration by the receiver for time, and they've got another first down here. They're driving at the O'Hara 42, trailing by two points. Handoff on to the right side. Not much there for Prude. O'Hara drives him back. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage or they could be spotting this. Littleton and Manjonen on the stop for the Hawks. Might be a one yard loss. We'll have to wait and see what that spot is. If not, it's at the line of scrimmage. I don't think he got quite a yard there. 
Second and, oh, they will give him a yard. Do we have a timeout by Time Cardinal O'Hara? Not a bad time to use a timeout. Let's get that defense off the field. Let's slow things down a little bit. Catch your give breath. Him a, yep, give him a breather. But things have gone pretty well for the most part for O'Hara. The thing, too, is for Cardinal O'Hara, you give Big Dave a break. Give Big Dave a break. Get some water out there. Again, you know, and I can't emphasize enough, both teams coming into this game really banged up. And, uh, you know, kudos to these kids that are fighting through injuries, fighting through pain just to play for their love of the game. Two coaching staffs, seasoned coaching, coaching staffs, you could say that now. I mean, Lakata's in his fourth year. That's a seasoned coach, right? Please don't say that because I still remember <laughs> calling games with him playing. I like when these guys come up. Hey, uh, Tony, I remember you doing talking about me on Saturdays. Yeah, thanks. Now I feel old. You won't feel old until lakata has got a son or daughter of his own and you're talking about him on Saturday morning. And then that's time to retire. <laughs> that's time to retire. <laughs> Nick might have the show by then. <laughs> Four, 40 to go in what has been a very, very good football game. Very competitive all afternoon. Jenny's at Operating out of the shotgun, fakes the handoff, back to pass, looking down to the left sidelines. He's got a man caught and out of bounds. Pilarski. Close to the 15. Pilarski with the reception. Big play for Timon. Huge play for Timon. Excellent. Jenny's just there. laid it out there on the left side, and Pilarski able to bring it in. And again, like I said earlier, that Pilarski is one of his favorite targets. And there was an excellent catch there by the receiver. Excellent concentration. Got himself out of bounds, and that's where he lost the football. So there was no fumble there. He let the let go of the ball when he got down to the the sideline there. Handoff up the middle. Not much there for Purd. Purd Purdy. Man, I'm all over the place today. It's all right. We got you, buddy. So timing. Trailing by two, threatening now as they've had the nice drive here. They've gone just about 68 yards on this drive. Jennings. Jennings into the end zone. Quarterback keeper, touchdown, time in. All right, Frank, this one's going down to the wire. Yeah. It could be the who ha uh, whoever has last possession wins. It looks like it's shaping up for that. Timon takes the lead, 24-20 with a two-point This point is a conversion big conversion. Up. It certainly is. This is a is. big conversion. It certainly is, and we're going to have a dramatic finish anyway. You slice it, Tony. It's been a... And Did like you, you say said, slice? <laughs> Shotgun, back to pass. Looking, dump pass into the ground, no good. So two-point conversion failed for Timon. They have the lead 24 to 20, 349 remaining in this contest. Yeah, I don't know if people are upset at home about. That was not a drop pass, guy. That was a perfectly thrown ball. Pilarski had it, got two feet in bounds, and then got That's a, all you pushed need. out of bounds. I, I don't understand why people are confused at home as to why that was a bad call or, or a, a drop pass. It clearly wasn't. Excellent play there by Timon, and O'Hara is uh, in a little bit of a hole now, but they're used to this, Tony. They've, they've trailed a number of times in this game and have been able to get back up on the horse and and come back. So it's 24-20 right now in favor of Bishop Timon. 3.49 left to go. O'Hara showed an ability that they can grind out a drive. Then the question does is, you know, Timon wants to do whatever they can to make it a long drive. Then the clock becomes a factor. Fantastic finishes in high school football brought to you by WNY Athletics. Play a little kickstart my heart. This is my son's favorite song. I got really? I got yeah, he loves this song. When I take him good to school job. in the morning. I gotta put this on. I have no idea why. It's got a lot of good energy, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Love music hey. with energy. Maybe that's why I love metal so much. Yeah, this, Imagine Dragons, something about the thunder and lightning. I don't know what that is. Is that what the song's called, Thunder and Lightning or I'm something? I'm not sure. I don't know. Imagine Dragon fans out there, that's what my son listens to. 
I get I happy when my son says, Dad, I want to hear Metallica. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> then my daughter will break my heart and say, I want to hear Ariana Grande. And no, you're not. So Timon's getting ready to kick this ball off. Expect a squib, Tony? Yep. Huh? No, he got some air under it. And it's going to... Samuel has it. Sam will bring it up. It's a good return. He gets it about to the, close to the 35-yard line. Not, Not bad for Cardinal O'Hara. Not a bad return with 3.43 to work with here. O'Hara, they should have two timeouts. I mean, other than a one long run by Hughley, O'Hara's really not hitting, uh, you know, big plays, so they're more grinded out. So at 3.43, this could play right into O'Hara's game plan. O'Hara's in a position here. And that's all you, that's all you yep. could ask for, for as, as a coach and player. They Get me in position. Last and then it's up to you. They went 80 yards for a score. We'll see what they can do here. They've got 66 yards to go. Hughley in motion. Jet sweep to the left side. Keeping it. Breaking tackles. Across the 35 to the 36. The Maybe the 37. That's a play that's worked time and again for O'Hara. Hughley's got... A lot of energy, Tony. He's running just as hard as he did in the first quarter. Second down and seven for the Hawks. You have to see what goes here. Cardinal O'Hara looking for their first win in over two seasons. They trail Timon 24-20. O'Hara's had the lead a few times in this game. They've battled really hard today. You got to take your hats off to these coaches and, it's a, and, and these it's a players. young team. Masters in the shotgun, one back in the backfield. Hand off. To the left side, not much there. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. But time and two, Tony. You can't say enough about the job the Tigers have done. You know, they've had the three turnovers, which has really cost them. Or it did cost them earlier. They haven't forced a turnover all afternoon, Tony. No. And I'm sure Coach Lakata would love to see one soon. Give it up for time, and they've played a great football game today, too, for the most part. Their coaching staff's got these kids up for this game. And at least for O'Hara, this is their last Monsignor Martin game of the season. Time and will play St. Mary's next Friday. It's showing a 7 p.m. game. I don't know where that game is played. I got to believe it's at Depew. Yeah, if it's St. Mary's, you would think they'll play at Depew like they did last week. Flags down. Delay a game again okay. against Cardinal O'Hara. That's two this half. Now, Tony, do you accept the penalty or the yardage? Uh, yardage. So it'll be third and 13 for O'Hara. They've third stared down. at third and long a few times, and guess what? They've come through every time. Sure. But they need to. Ch they don't need 13 right now. They just need if see if they can get eight to 10 yards on this play. Four receiver set. Quick pass. To the left side. They got that Breaking in the more. tackle. The 50, the 40, 35, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Hawks. Zacker. Zacker taking it to the house. And just an excellent block to free him up, Tony, to get going. O'Hara, great play call by Mookie Hawkins and Shaq Dudley there. They em emptied the backfield, then go with a quick hit uh, pass to the left side. No flags on the field. O'Hara back in front, 26-24. What a slugfest we got going on here. With 149 remaining in the game. Wow. Now this is going to be, let's see. The two-point conversion really doesn't mean anything at this point. Well, they don't have a kicking game. So we'll see what happens here. 26-24 O'Hara. There's going to be a buck 49 left on the clock at the kickoff. And off to Littleton, and he's in. Easily. Easily he gets in. 28-24 O'Hara with the opportunity to win their first game in over two seasons. Now it's up to the Hawks' defense to make the stop. The only thing that could but make it better is if it was being played over in Tonawanda on their own home field, but... They'll take the win anywhere, Tony. Timon can hit on a big play, so we know that they're f the Tigers are fully capable of uh, 
of scoring it from anywhere on the field. Just an excellent play call there by O'Hara on third down. Tony, we've talked about that. They've been staring at third and long all day and they've been converting on third and long. Just a huge play there for the Hawks. Oh, if you're Tommy Joy of uh, uh, Bishop Tymon and you're looking at your defense, you're, how can you give up a big play like that at a crucial point of the game? I'm sure he's sick to his stomach. So what does Tymon do here, Tony, with a buck 49? They've already shown in this game time and again they don't need a lot of time to score. I would expect to see pass, uh, Jenny's going on the, up the left side with the, with the ball in the air. They've had success there. They'll either go to uh, Scungio or they'll go to Scarver. How does this kickoff go? Do they do the squib? Do they kick it all? I, I mean, do you want to kick it to a guy I'd like go with, I Do would, you want to kick it to a guy back there like Prude? Those I'd go with a line run. drive. I want to I wanna squib it. I want to make it difficult to return. They've already <coughs> bobbled one. Right. That led to an O'Hara turnover. So uh, my guess is you're going to see something similar on this kickoff for O'Hara. So what a turn of events. Again, it's been back and forth all afternoon. Cardinal O'Hara leading time in 28-24, a buck 49 on the clock, fourth quarter action. Line drive kickoff, takes a bounce to the 20. And brought down about the 35, 36. Decent coverage by the Hawks there on special teams. It was DeLuca in on the stop. First and ten Tigers, that was senior number 11. So this is it. Bishop Timon trailing Cardinal O'Hara 28 to 24. 142 on the clock. We'll get the ball at the 36 yard line. 35 yard line. 35 yard line. 35 and a half. Zacher comes limping off the field for O'Hara. He's made a number of good plays for the Hawks. A big touchdown just a moment ago. Man, I wish I saw who laid that block for him to free him up. I don't know who that was. Might have been Samarian. Three. I'll have to go back and check the replay. Four receivers set. Jennings back to pass. Looking down the left got side. Him. He's got a man wide open. Caught. Breaking a tackle. And knocked out of bounds. Close to the 20 yard line. One quick play, one quick strike. Polarski. It only took about 18 Luka seconds off the down. clock, not even. They're down to a buck 30, and just and like that, timing that offense reminds you of Will South a little bit, doesn't it, Tony? I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Did Craig Kazanski just give them the playbook? I think Joey does have some. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I, I know he does. He told me when he said, I do have some of the Will South plays plus some of his UB plays, so Lakata is able to mix it up in there. But uh, Jennings, what a beautiful pass, and Pulaski right, right between the numbers, the one and the five, and caught it in stride. pularski has been difficult on the outside. He's made a few big plays already out there. Now it gets scary for Cardinal O'Hara. Field tightens up right about now, right about here. Buck 30 on the clock. Timing with a great strike there to kind of get deep into O'Hara territory. But O'Hara's got the lead, 28-24. They're a very dangerous team. This is senior night. I'm sure Shaq's reminding them that this is it, guys. This is your last high school football. There is no, t There really is no tomorrow. I know they have one more game against Cat Little Valley, right. but still, <laughs> this is the game you want. This is the game you have the lead right now. This is the one, this is the game you want. You want to beat your Monsignor Martin rivals this is the game O'Hara's wanted all season long, and here they are in a position to win. Jennings back to pass, throwing. Incomplete. incomplete. Trying to go hard, hard, no good. He hasn't dropped too many today. Pass was a little bit behind him. It was tough to uh, turn and make that catch. Second down and 10. Clock stops. Ball spotted on the 28-yard line. Timing going with four wide receivers. Jennings in the shotgun. The snap back to pass. Looking. Evades the rush. Try to set up. Dumps it off to the side. It's caught. Short gain there to Polarski. Gets out of bounds. Third does he down. not? No, he does not get out of bounds. Time's running, time. Tony? 
How many timeouts does Timon have left? Good question. <laughs> oh, All three? Got some pressure on the quarterback there. Jennings back to pass, looking under Again. pressure, and they're going to sack him. And they're going to get him for intentional grounding. Big play by the Hawks defense there. Wow. Yeah, it's not roughing the passer. But Littleton there bringing uh, Jennings down. Jennings just kind of thrown away as he was falling down. So they'll, uh, they'll mark it off. And that's a loss of down, right? Fourth and six or fourth and no, that's going to be fourth and 16 maybe. Fourth. Let's see. That's a big penalty. You have to wait and see. So that should be fourth down. Fourth and 19 for the Tigers. Yeah, intentional grounding is an automatic loss of down. Fourth down. And they got O'Hara to jump. Okay. So they'll get five of it back. Offsides on the defense. Cardinal O'Hara trying to time the snap count to get at Jennings. Fourth and 14. You know, they haven't had a ton of pressure. They haven't had a ton of pressure on the timing quarterback, but they did get to the quarterback on that last play, and that was the... Best well, they know scenario. that they can, if they can get in, in the backfield, they can force Jennings into a bad throw. And that's what they're trying to do. Like Big awesome. Dave almost flinched. Changing the play now. <sighs> Doing an excellent job of try, <laughs> trying to draw O'Hara off sides. He almost got two guys. And what? Timon will take a timeout here. 54 seconds to go here. I mean, this game, like you said, came down to the last possession, Tony. You were right. I got lucky. Genius. Man. Big Dave flinched on that one. He wanted to go so bad. <laughs> we can only hope the next game lives up to the hype. Uh, this game was just in Yeah, I have no idea what to expect out of Salamanca, so this is really going to be interesting to see what they bring. And I know what St. Mary's and Lancaster uh, can do. Uh, they've got two explosive running backs and a quarterback that can also run. Uh, they'll be that's a three-headed monster that's going to be tough to stop. Well, you know a team normally takes the identity of their head coach. Bartosik is a no-nonsense coach, and they're probably going to play. You're going to expect a fight. They're going to you're going to get their best effort, a hard-hitting affair, very disciplined. But can they stop that St. Mary's running attack? That's I, I saw St. Mary's put 50 on this O'Hara team. And most of it was in the first half. So it all pretty much comes down to this, Tony. Fourth and 14 for Bishop Timon. Ball spotted on the 28-yard line. Under a minute to go. O'Hara. Three receivers set. Biggest play of the season for the Hawks coming up right here. Waiting for the snap. Another now timeout? Cardinal O'Hara will call a timeout. Okay, they wanted to see what... See what they were going to come out. And now how are we going to counter? Meeting of the minds on the O'Hara sideline now. Game shaped up to be a pretty good one, Tony. We were worried. We were worried at the start of this just by the scores we've seen with these, this O'Hara team early. You know, 34-7 loss to this team just a few weeks ago. 50 nothing last week, St. Mary's. We weren't sure what we were going to get, but... This team really balled out today. One thing, if you're Coach Dudley, that you have to like is that you've seen progress. You see your team improving every week. And that's something to build off of. Let's give another shout-out to all those seniors. Luke Martinez, Sam Torrey, Matt Samuel, Aiden Masters, Louis DeLuca, and David Martin. Of course, Torrey not able to go today, but all five of those other guys really stepped up today, those seniors, in their last football game for the Cardinal O'Hara Hawks. Jennings, shotgun. Three receivers set, two backs in the split in the backfield. Snap, back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Jennings avoids the pressure, throws, caught Good for, for first, first down. down. But I don't think he got out of bounds. To, he did. Okay, he did get out of bounds. Even if he didn't, the the clock would stop to move the chains. Yep. Okay, and there it goes. 
Now they run the clock again, so it's first 40 seconds and, goal. and counting. If they don't seem to be in a rush to get this going. 30 seconds left in the game. First Four goal. receivers set. Back to pass. Jennings looking to his right. Under pressure. Throws over the middle. Wow. Caught. Right Touchdown. Open. Time in. Back of the end zone. They just lost track of number nine, James Scungio. And Scungio's been involved in this game. Tony, they went. They used him on the two-point conversion. Couldn't get in. They used him at the two-point conversion at this end of the field. At the other, uh, in the first half. Couldn't get into the end zone. He bobbled the pass, but he comes through here with a big catch. And now it's 30-28 time, and they take the lead for the fourth time today. And just like that. But O'Hara's going to have another crack at this thing, Tony. So time, and now we'll try to kick the point after. Try to make it a three-point game. The snap, the put down, the kick is up. Good. So time. 31 to 28. Battles Tw back. 31 28, your score. Man, oh man, they just ripped the hearts right out of your chest if you're O'Hare right now. But they still got 20 seconds. I felt so bad. You see, old Littleton just fell to his knees. And uh, you could feel his pain from up here. Mm -hmm. But hey, that last play call by the O'Hara offensive coordinator was perfect. And it didn't take long. Can they draw something up like that again? We'll have to wait and see. O'Hara down, 31-28, fourth quarter action. I imagine Coach Joya will at least have uh, two safeties back deep, not let anything get behind them. A great game. Absolutely great game. Both teams. Uh, Phenomenal game. This one for O'Hara, if, if they go down in this one, it's going to sting. But I'll tell you what, Tony, these kids, especially these seniors, they gave it every last thing they had today. Huge props to those guys. There's still time left, Tony. There's still time left. And as they shown on that last possession, all they needed was one play, right? Yeah. Let's see what O'Hara dials up. You'll get a nice boot here out of the. Uh, well, one thing is they're going to need a good return to set and themselves up. They've yep. had that. They've had good drive starts for most of the and afternoon. <coughs> Matt Samuel, Mike Zacker back to receive this kick at about the 10 yard line. We'll have to see. Maybe time and surprise them and give them a little quick squib. I think that's what I would do. I would want to keep that ball on the ground. Nope. nope. Sends it deep down the left side. Better pick that ball up. Nope, it goes out of bounds. Okay. So O'Hara down to their final possession of the football game. Timon hasn't had a turnover all afternoon. This might be the perfect time for one if you're timing to seal the deal, but we'll have to wait and see. First and ten hop. So they will spot it at the 35. That's where uh, O'Hara will get it, which is not bad possession. Could have time. You could have enough enough time on the clock to get at least two plays. Got to get to the sideline though. So this is it, Tony. This is it for Cardinal O'Hara. 20 seconds left. A lot of alumni tuning in today. Thank you very much for watching on WNYAthletics.com. We'll be back with St. Mary's versus Salamanca on the same channel. Masters, shotgun, and Cardinal, no, uh, time is going to call a timeout. See, they did have one safety back pretty deep. So they'll give O'Hara, I'm sure the defense will give O'Hara anything they want underneath. You don't want to let anybody get behind you. That's, that's the key right there. O'Hara's got the guys. They've got the goods. 
Littleton Jr., Matt Samuel, Hugley's been awesome all day. Zacher, of course, with the big touchdown earlier. Have to see who else they can work into that offense. Brandon three. Haven't called his name too much. No. He's a nice target too. Six foot two guy. So he's a big target. We'll have to see who comes up big now for Cardinal O'Hara. Looking to so 20 seconds left. We'll see what O'Hara can do now. Here we go, baby. Four receivers, one back in the backfield. Masters in the shotgun, waiting for the snap. Back to pass, rolling out to his right. He's going to keep it and run out of bounds. Only chewed up about six seconds, but uh, he did cross the 40-yard line. Excellent coverage downfield by Bishop Timon. He had nobody to throw to. Just great coverage by that Timon secondary. Well, if they want to give you that, that, send your quarterback out, let him run towards the sideline, and uh, get the first down, get out of bounds. You're only using up a few seconds. Yeah, only lost about six seconds on that one. They'll spot it at the 42. Hey, hook and ladder worked earlier for time, and Tony. <laughs> no time like the present to run something like that, perhaps. We'll Such a nice play. Ugly in motion. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Masters back to Bass, avoiding the rush. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. He's got a first down. And he... So a first down will stop the clock with five seconds left. Across the 45 at the 46-yard line. And they're going to run the clock and not enough time. And that'll do it. So Tymon defeats Cardinal O'Hara 31 to 28, but are they gonna put, uh, they're not coming off the field, so they might be adding a second or two onto the clock. We're waiting for the officials. O'Hara should have one last play here, Tony. So this will give you one second they'll put on the clock. It'll give Masters about enough time to heave it towards the end zone. I don't know if he has the arm strength to uh, to go all the way to the end zone. Well, he could chuck the ball. He could chuck the football. Will someone be there waiting for him? Last Time and only rushing three. Throws it up the left side. Incomplete. So now the, play, the game is over. So Time and defeats O'Hara 31 to 28, congratulations to uh, both teams doing an outstanding uh, outstanding job making this one really competitive. Excellent football game, excellent effort by both teams, coaching staffs. Man, that was a good football game, Tony. We've been waiting for a good one, and we got one this afternoon. And, uh, man, we'll get ready for Salamanca and St. Mary's coming up in just a little bit. Now they have the cross-training uh, presentation for uh, athlete of the game. Mike, uh, Mike Masters Jr. does this at, at uh, most of the games. It's a nice recognition. Teams are not allowed to go and shake hands due to COVID protocol. So what they do is they line up across from each other and kind of wave and do a thumbs up and a you know thank you for a good game. I was out at Wilson on Thursday with, who was there, John Simon? And uh, Terry Koenig was out in uh, Wilson with this uh, with the ceremony that they do for Mike Masters, nice. all part of the uh, cross training athletics. Have to see who the selections are for today. Scungio for uh, Timon. Big David for uh, Cardinal O'Hara. So congratulations to both. All right, Frank, that'll do it for us. And uh, let's go take a break, One rest down. our voices, and get ready for the 2 o'clock game. Western New York Athletics presents high school football. <laughs> 